Hey everybody, it's week two. Uh, I'm at the Biggest Loser Resort at Fitness Ridge. Um, it's going really well. Um, you know, there's ups and downs with this weight loss journey, and uh, this is really, really hard stuff. Um, I'm away from my family again. It kind of reminds me of um, the days when I was on The Biggest Loser, and uh, you know, I was away from my kids and my wife and uh, that day-to-day -day stuff. So you add that in, um, and then you add in the exhaustion of all the exercise and the hikes. Um, sometimes mentally this can be really, really tough. But uh, at the same time, there's some, you know, you have those triumphs where um, things get easier, you feel stronger. Um, I've been checking the scale, and it's, uh, I'm not going to reveal anything, but um, the weight's coming off. Um, so, and I also even brought some clothes that are a little bit smaller, and I've been fitting into some of those. I had a lot of 2X uh, t-shirts and shorts, and I got, I'm fitting in the XLs. Uh, both on the shirt and the shorts, so that, that feels really, really good. Um, my wife at home, Michelle, she's really, really supportive about this. She wants me to, uh, to finish this and um, to get the best result possible. So uh, when I hear that, it kind of lets me, reminds me that I should just keep going forward and, and, and I'm doing the right thing. Um, there's a lot of things I wanted to discuss. Uh, one of the things I didn't mention um, <clears throat> during the last video uh, I'm here with my brother, my younger brother, he's three years younger than me, and uh, my brother Doug, and he struggled with his weight. Um, and when I came home from The Biggest Loser back in 06, um, my family was kind of, they were thinking, well, maybe Eric will help Doug now. And to be honest, I wasn't ready, I wasn't sure I was still able to help myself. I was still, even though I was a 200 pound man that, was, that once was 407 pounds, you would think that I'd be able to help him and, and um, be a mentor, but I was still kind of struggling to get myself to the gym, still trying to find my way. So I really, uh, I, I wasn't able to, to help him, and I, I felt a little bad about that. And when this opportunity came along to come out here, uh, and I asked my brother if he'd like to join me, and he came along. Uh, he came back in January, we did two weeks together here, and now he's here again with me for this five week stay. And he's doing great. Um, He's dropped, he dropped 20 the last time, and uh, he's dropping a lot of weight now, and I could tell, and I could see it in his face, and um, it just feels really good to go through that with him and to uh, be able to offer this to him. Um, I know that one of the things that we do here is, uh, is a hike. Uh, it's a four, four and a half mile all uphill hike called Stop Sign, and we time ourselves. And originally, uh, I think Doug had did it. Uh, almost two hours, an hour and 40 minutes, something like that. And he had told me the other day he did it an hour and 10 minutes. Um, so it's not just how you look, how you feel, you, you also get stronger. Um, I had an accomplishment myself, accomplishment uh, this weekend myself. We had did a 10K um, here in uh, Ivan's, uh, the Ironman was coming through and coming right through the town and we had a festival here. Lots of biggest losers were here. Um, Sione, Felipe, uh, Susie, Matt, um, not Matt, Matt didn't make it, Susie came, um, and obviously myself, and also Seth. Um, oh, and Dan was here with his mom Jackie, and they performed, um, really great musician, and uh, really made the show, it was just, it was, a, it was a great festival. But before we went out to that festival to meet and greet all the people of uh, the great city of Ivan's, I and all the other guests from the resort did a 10K. And I hadn't done one of those since uh, 2006. So uh, to finish it, to, to actually run the whole way and not stop and not walk, what my mind kept saying, stop, it's too hard, stop. But I did it, I just kept going and uh, I finished the race and it's, it's just a great feeling of accomplishment. And I talked to Seth afterwards and I was saying that, you know, when I did it back in 06, it just felt so great, and I thought those feelings were reserved for just that time period of my life, and that, that sense of accomplishment, that sense of pride, that was only for me then. Um, but those same exact feelings came back again, and uh, just felt really, it felt fantastic. I was really, really excited about it. So my stay's going really well, the weight loss is, is going really well, and stay tuned. I'm sure I'm gonna have a lot more uh, information for you guys, and I hope you enjoy these videos. Have a great day. Thank you.